Sandra, here we are, 5% on uh, ten, 5 on the 10-year yields, the first time since 2007. Is this now finally the screaming buy that we've been waiting for in duration? It's very confident, difficult to be confident at this point exactly where you might like to call the top on yields. When is the time to buy? Certainly, uh, if you're looking at things like inflation trends, they have been pointing down. The economy, however, has been holding up very much, and there's the supply picture to take into account as well. How do you balance this? I think markets are trading very carefully, uh, and there's a lot of nervousness still around. That nervousness, Sandra, good morning to you. Um, what we're trying to understand is whether curve steepeners, and Danny started the show with this, she showed uh, five, five, I think it was at two thirties, uh, almost mm. in positive territory. What goes through my mind and the questions I was asking to people yesterday on a treadmill, which was, do duration hunters come in here? Can you stand in front of the velocity of this steepener? Do the steepeners just continue? And does that cause you, as a bond duration buyer, to hold your powder dry? Because these steepeners look as if they're set to run further. <laughs> what we had um, is quite different trends here. For a while, it was all about the short end of the curve. We had the expectation that um, interest rates uh, would have to uh, stay higher for longer and that uh, drove the short end higher. Now it's sort of more the long end of the curve too, where expectations have moved up. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a lot less clear, perhaps, exactly where that one might stop. Perhaps there's more of a natural anchor, uh, if you think, on the short end of the curve than on the long end of the curve. Um, um, certainly, in the, in the cyclical perspective, we have to take that into account. And the supply picture isn't very pretty. So I think that is where the overall nervousness comes from. And that is why it is so difficult to uh, really call the top here for yields uh, at the very long end of the curve. 